Hi Fashion TV, my name is Morana Tias and today we're shooting a status campaign in Tel Aviv, Israel. It's the summer collection for 2009. Today the concept for the catalog is the first idea is catwalk and to present as much as the models possible from the collection and then tomorrow we're going to have more of an inspiration, feeling. It's going to be more intimate and more of an atmosphere of, uh, of behind the scene. Kind of like to sneak in before the fashion show or the, uh, the shoot of the day. You know, the models are not really done, the makeup and hair is like ready to go but they have status clothes on them. So step from side to side now Please move your hips from left to right now You know, because at work I get to wear these real glamorous dresses or very accessorized um, outfits, also on the set. On my day-to-day -day basics, I like to wear basic, just plain colors, mostly black, I believe. Like, I think black is one of my dominant colors in my closet. And then I love brown as well. And uh, a lot of jeans, sneakers. I am an all-star addicted. Anything that is far from my image, I believe. Like, not sexy, very sport, sporty. But when I go out, I like to have fun and, and, and I like to mix and match. I mean, modern and more vintage. I love details, but after a long day of work, I mean, if I go to have a drink with my friends, I'm really casual and they kind of get disappointed, but. Okay, so if I have a red carpet event, I like to wear very elegant dresses, mostly long dresses, and I love to work on the accessories that would be a little bit more vintage, so it has kind of a um, Dolce Vita look. Designers that I love, and I love personally, because uh, a very good friend of mine is Roberto Cavalli, um, so most of the times on the red carpets I get to have the best gowns ever, and I love you for that, and well, thank you for all the team that is always very, very supportive and loving. And um, Dolce Gabbana, um, and Chanel, I love Chanel. I do miss Italy. I love Italy. I love the food. I am. Um, I miss the food all the time, especially if I go to Italian restaurants in Los Angeles. I miss it even more. Sorry, <laughs> to be honest. Pretty much living the American dream, so can't complain. Just need the pasta. Solo la pasta che mi manca. crazy busy because I've started with a, a show um, in the US which started with only two, two episodes and developed into a 13 episode series where I play Inez who's a gypsy that is trying to live the American dream and it's a part of uh, Crash which is based on the Oscar winning movie Crash that was directed by Paul Haggis and um, it's on air right now on Stars. So it's really, really exciting. I mean, for me, it was so amazing to just observe the work of Dennis Hopper because he's a legend in the cinematography industry and uh, it was just so inspiring to see him work. So committed and so, so talented. And that's, I think, that is the key for real success is the talent and the commitment you put into. So hard work and, and talent is definitely the combination. And um, just to see him in front of me working, it was just very, very inspiring. And then the other actors was, were great to work with because they really welcomed me with a lot of love. And most of my scenes are pretty demanding uh, emotionally and physically. So it was great to be welcomed. <laughs> Thank you.
today I am shooting with my sister and it's really exciting and we did a shot together and it was for me I don't know I started to laugh because I was happy I was happy to have her with me um, she is the most important thing in my life and I'm so happy she could share this this moment with me so it's, it's fun I don't remember I think we've been on photo shoots before but more as articles about my, my work and about my family so she was part of uh, a, a you know family portrait obviously but uh, today I think it's the first time we're working together it's great but I don't know if to give her tips or to stay back to be involved or just to let her do her own thing I don't know like maybe I'm too mothery I'm kind of like cleaning around her or you do you need anything maybe she just wants to be left alone so I don't know it's interesting, I don't know, maybe when, one day when I'll be a mother, I don't know how to behave. So it's kind of like a, a test, before the big test. A casual day in my life, for the last six months I was shooting Crash in New Mexico. So it will include waking up very early, um, rehearsing with the director and the actors of the scene, and then doing hair and makeup, and then just live in a different time zone and in a different character. And then take off my makeup, take my clothes off, try to relax and prepare for the next day of shooting. So a lot of long hours, but I feel very, very blessed because I got to be in a production that is amazing and the story about people that are not involved in other people's life and pretty much indifferent and ignorant about the rest of, of the world is something I want to be part of and um, it's a dream come true. When I saw the movie, I said to myself, this is definitely what I want to be part of. And now I am, so I feel very, very blessed. In my free time, I try to make my apartment look like a home. Um, it's based in Los Angeles. So I go and buy lamps and paintings and dishes and cups, just like a really, like a desperate housewife, I guess. <laughs> so it's fun. It's, it's relaxing and not because it's really hard work to have everything kind of work together. And, um, and then for my own pleasure, um, I love to go to see movies or read or just hang out with my friends, which I don't get to spend time with when I'm working and I'm in New Mexico or in Tunis or I'm in Israel. Love from Israel. Peace. Shalom. <laughs>